prior to the right to information being enacted by way of a legislation, it is pertinent to note that the judiciary has played a crucial role in formulating the right as a fundamental in nature. Part 3 to the Constitution of India guarantees certain fundamental rights under Article 19, of which the right to freedom of speech and expression under Article 19.1a is very integral. It is pertinent to note that the judiciary has held that the right to information is one of the species of the right to freedom of speech and expression under Article 19.1a. While despite they are fundamental in nature and cannot be abrogated, it is that reasonable restrictions can be placed on these exercise of these fundamental rights. One such restriction that you may note on the right to these freedoms is that it allows for the state to make a law that imposes on restrictions on the interest of sovereignty and integrity of India with regard to the security of the state, the friendly relations with foreign states, the public order, decency and others. Now, when it comes to these reasonable restrictions, it is material that the rights of many are not allowed to be subjugated to the rights of few. As such, the, the public interest shall prevail over creating restrictions to the exercise of fundamental rights. The Supreme Court of India has been one of the crusaders of this right to information. It may be observed through an array of cases wherein this right has been given the primordial requirement for every citizen. In S.P. Gupta vs. Union of India, there were certain government orders that were passed by the central government on the appointment and transfer of judges. It is pertinent to note here that the central government sought for secrecy and confidentiality of all communications that were made by these governmental orders. Justice P. N. Bhagwati, one of India's remarkable Supreme Court judges, had rejected the government's claim for protection against the disclosure and had directed the central government to disclose the documents containing the correspondence that were made in these governmental orders. He anointed that an open and effective participatory democracy requires that accountability and access to information from for the public is set across on the functioning of the government. It is noted that in matters relating to the appointment of judges where the entire integrity of the institution is put to stake where these governmental orders were not disclosed to the public and their disclosure will only ensure a clean and healthy administration and will act as a powerful check on oppression, corruption and abuse of authority. The second matter for discussion, L. K. Kulwal vs. Jaipur Municipal Corporation and represented also by the state of Rajasthan is another case where environmental information was sought for by the petitioner. It is pertinent here that the query that arose was with regard to the implementation of the Rajasthan Municipalities Act. There was a provision that required the municipalities to ensure sanitation within the state and their areas which came under their local municipality. It so happened that the information was not granted to Mr. Kulwa and as such he came across with a writ petition seeking for the enforcement of the same. On this note, it was observed by the Supreme Court that every citizen has a right to know about the activities of the state, its instrumentalities and department. A privilege of secrecy is something that should not be allowed as a particular restriction in disclosure of the facts to the citizen which are not compelled. And therefore, under Article 19.1a, it was ensured that under right to freedom of speech and expression also included within itself the right to know. And this right cannot be denied especially when it relates to the personal sanitation and hygiene of every individual.